Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to actually upload the zoologist shirt from my previous video. So what I did in my previous video was I actually designed the shirt, uh, just a very basic uh, design in Photoshop for merch by Amazon. So if you haven't already watched that video, that is kind of tied in with this video. So if you haven't watched it, I'll leave a, a little card somewhere up in the top there and then you can obviously go back and watch that video first and then come back to this video and then follow on from, from that video. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to log into Merch by Amazon and then we're going to go over here to the Create tab um, and then we're going to just click this Upload button down here and mine is in Output so you can see my zoologist uh, design, I've just put it in this folder output here and we're just going to click on that and click open. Now you want to make sure that the artwork is 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels and that it is a PNG image. Sometimes this takes a while to upload, maybe a minute or so. So I'm actually going to pause the video now and come back when it's uploaded. So guys, as you can see, the design is now uploaded um, and obviously it doesn't look very good on this colour of shirt, but don't don't worry about that we're going to be changing the color in a minute so we want to just choose the product type so I'm just going to go with a standard t-shirt you can do premium t-shirt long sleeve sweatshirt pullover hoodie I believe that if you do um, one of these bottom two options the actual artwork dimensions might change a little bit so you might have to change the dimensions of the image in Photoshop but I, th I believe for these like sort of, sort of top three here, standard, premium and long sleeve, I believe it's the same dimensions anyway. So yeah, that's I'm just going to select standard shirt and then click save and continue. We're now going to go to the page where we select our colours and our price. So we just want to, basically all I do on this page is I always select all three. So I select men, women and youth. Because you just never know, you may as well just select all three, um, even if it's like a, basically a direct male shirt a female might purchase it I don't know a female a girl might purchase it um so yeah it's it, it always select I always select all three feel free to just if you just want to select male uh, men or women or whatever you can do that but I just like selecting all three um so next what I do is I just hover over all the colors and obviously I always choose five colors I always choose the full five um, so I'll do red because that looks pretty cool. I'll do blue because that looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll do... I'll do the standard black because that's always good. Um, green looks okay. I think navy looks pretty good. The, this shirt doesn't work very well for lighter colours. So if you want to do a lighter design or you want to tailor your design to be a bit, you know, suit, more suited for lighter colours, what you would, what you could do is just change the colour of the text because you can see on that light blue shirt, the design, the lion's head, actually looks pretty good, but it's just the text that lets it down. So if I wanted to change this up just to do it for lighter designs, then I would just change the text. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll go with the green. The green's okay. It's not, it's not so bad. So we'll do the five colours there. And we're going to just put this at, let's say, seventeen ninety nine. It's not... You know, I like to price based off the design. The design isn't that great, but I don't want to shoot myself in the foot and put like thirteen ninety nine or whatever. You know, I want to be, I want to have some pride in my designs, and I want to price them uh, at a reasonable price. But you know, it's still uh, giving me some good royalty. So let's say seventeen ninety nine on that one, um, and then we'll we'll save it here. Now I've already uploaded this design, so I won't be actually submitting it. Um, for one, because I've filled all my slots, and for two, as I say, because I've already uploaded it. But I'm just doing this to go through the process with you. So what I've done is I've actually, as I say, I've already uploaded this design, so I've got the page up here. Um, and so I'm just going to copy this title over. Um, I know this is kind of cheating a little bit, but I will actually go, go into detail and explain what I'm doing for the titles and the tags and stuff. Now, what I did find for this actually actual niche... Uh, maybe it was just that this was one of the last designs I was doing and I was getting a bit burnt out with doing designs But I did find that it was harder to get keywords for this specific niche uh, Now the brand name what the brand name is basically You can just choose anything For example, you could just put like a uh, zoologist Shirts or something like that now what I always do is just copy that and then we want to open a tab for TM hunt so I've got a little uh 
uh, what do you call this? Like in my uh, bookmarks bar, I've got a little bookmark for it. Just tmhunt.com. And then I just paste that in there, zoology shirts, just so that then I can see if there's any trademarks of that particular, like, um, you know, brand name or anything. The chances are it won't. I just like doing it anyway, just to be 100% sure. I am very strict with my trademark, so I do like everything in the trademark thing, except like words like and and it and things like that. You don't need to put them in there most of the time. But saying that, if they are within like a phrase, then it might be best to put that entire phrase in to TM Hunt just to check. So this title isn't, I'm not as happy with this title as other titles I've done. The title should, basically, in my opinion, the title should be, uh, you know, it should flow. It should have flow to it, but it should also inc include a few keywords. So as you can see here, I'm just going to read this title. Zoologist, Lion, Animal, Lovers, Biology Experts, Novelty T-shirt. It doesn't have as much flow as I would like. Now, if we remove the lion, let's say, so we go... Zoologist, animal lovers, biology experts, novelty t-shirt. That flows a little bit better, but it does still seem a little bit too keyword heavy and it doesn't flow as well as it could do. So I'm not 100% happy with that, but that's what I ended up on. You know, that's what happened in the end anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I, what you want to do once you've got a title. So if you need help with keywords to get the title, you want to come over to this site called Merch Informer. Now, this is a paid site. There is a free day free trial. Um, but basically, after that, you I think the minimum you, pay, you can pay is about $14.99 a month. That's dollars, not pounds. So if you're in England, then, you know, in, in the UK, that's probably about £12 a month, something like that, 10 to £12 a month. Um, so basically, what you can do is you can go down to the product search here to find some keywords. And what we can do is we can type, well, this is just how I do it. There's, there's loads of different ways to go about getting keywords on Merch Informer and doing Merch Informer. But this is how I get my keywords. So zoologist here, and obviously it says this will take up to 20 seconds. So unfortunately, it will take uh, you know a few seconds to actually process this search. But um, sometimes it completes sooner than that. You know, sometimes it doesn't take like, you know, 20 seconds or 30 seconds. You can see it's actually completed sooner than that now. So this will show me, you can see we've got all the keywords here that people have used in their titles. So we've got zoologist, we've got monkey, biologist, we've got uh, loads of different animals in here. We've got sciences, um, we've got animals there again. We've got zookeeper, that's probably a good one. Um, you know, loads of different uh, keywords, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to one of these shirts and we can see, like, for example, let's just take this one here. So I'm, I'm on this one here. Uh, where, no, was, was it that one I was looking at before? Yeah, so it's this one here. So you can see that their bullet points, like whether the baby elephant gif shows Junior falling down or whatever. I'm not too bothered about that bit. But I've seen this bit down here, so makes a great birthday or Christmas gift for baby elephant lovers, zoologist, zookeeper, or trendy teen or tween. So we can see there that zoo, uh, you know, zoologist, zookeeper, that's a good keyword to use. So in your title, you might want to get zookeeper in there, you might want to get zoologist in there. You can see also that on other ones, you know, certain like lion themed shirts, if maybe there's a lion, here's a lion one down here. So maybe this lion one, uh, We've got lion down there. We've got safari there. So, so again, you're learning there. Safari might be a good keyword to use. Um, you can see also on, on this, this is all these shirts are ranked by bestsellers rank. So these are like the best selling shirts of that specific keyword or that specific kind of category. So basically, you know that you're, you can kind of pick from the best, let's say. I, I wouldn't, what I would never do, and I don't even know whether this, there's, there's probably something in the terms and conditions that you uh, that's against this anyway but what i would never ever do is just like copy their keywords like that but what you want to do is identify keywords in their bullet points that might might be uh doing good for them might be the keywords that's pushing them up the search and then use that in a sentence in your keywords or maybe just use that keyword in your title so um obviously you can see there i put zoologist, I'm, I'm an animal lover, biology expert. Again, maybe putting an occupation in the title or the keywords is a good thing. So if you've got a shirt that's maybe an office-themed shirt, 
you know, for people that work in offices, maybe you put office worker in there or something like that or secretary, maybe, you know, something like that anyway, that then is another keyword based around that shirt. So you can use Merch, uh, Merch Informer really, really well. As you can see, it gives you prices of the shirts, it gives you uh, the amount of set estimated monthly sales, all the keywords, and it gives you so much more on these tools uh, down below here. We've got Trend Hunter, so if you want to see like the best selling shirts, we've got Oh, sorry, my voice keeps went then. We've got Keyword Finder there, so you can basically search for keywords and see um, basically the search volume of search, certain keywords. So if one keyword is really, really good, but but let's say it's got, it'll show you like it's got low competition volume. So one keyword might have really high search volume, but it's got really low competition. So that might be a good one to do a design on, and then you can base a design on that keyword. So it's really, really good. You've got advanced competition checker again to check your level of competition, and it gives it a score it gives that keyword a score based on the competition level and then going off that data you can choose whether to do a design on that subject or not so what you want to do is go down and structure your title and your keywords from you know picking out bits from here thinking about it in your own mind thinking right what shall i do how can i structure these sentences and make it a little bit different and always add in your own keywords if you can think of them that are different to anyone else's on here because that keyword might get your shirt ranking a little bit better so yeah so like i've got this title here you could put down here for example um or you know you could put like do you love um uh, animals or something, do you love animals, um, or work at a zoo, at a zoo, as a zookeeper, um, then this, um, I don't know, novelty shirt could be for you. Now, I'm just doing a very basic little um, bullet point there. I would try and pad that out a bit more. I would try and do another sentence on that. I would try and add a few more keywords. But at the moment, I'm just trying to do this very basic for you guys. Um, maybe you could put in there, you know, maybe you could include, um, you can maybe get the keyword lion head in there or something. You could, or lion, maybe just lion. You could get the keyword, you know, animal lovers in there or biology experts or, so you know, something like that. You know, loads of different keywords that you can pad in there. Fill it out as much as you can. You can you can put as much as you possibly can in there. Now, also, I like to add add, add on this bottom row, um, as, you know, after maybe a bit more of a of a sort of bullet points or keywords. I, I sometimes add like a great gift for um, a friend or family member. And then what I would put is, let's say it's like a a, a certain shirt for an occupation. I would then put who is involved with X occupation or who is A, and then I get that final keyword in there. Now, what I would never do, and I see a lot of people doing this, is great gift for any mom, dad. Again, remembering that if you're in if you're in Britain and you're watching this, remember that Americans have different words, like for mom, it's mom, and all that sort of stuff. Mom, dad, grandpa, you know, blooming whatever else and they just like pan out uncle auntie you know all these different i don't know whether auntie is used in america i'd have to look that up but i'm just doing this for an example really basically they just fill it with all these different you know names just to try and trigger a few searches and that is what most people will call keyword stuffing and they don't just do it with that they'll do it with all the other keywords so it's Great for any zookeeper, zoologist, zoo lover, animal lover, biology expert, marine biologist, da 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 da, and they'll just stuff it, and it doesn't have any flow. And uh, yeah, maybe some people will get results by doing that, but it doesn't seem to have any flow to it, and I don't think it's going to really massively help you in the long term anyway. Uh, but yeah, I will just literally tag on the end there. Great gift for any family member or friend or maybe any sister or brother or something. And then I'll put a final couple of keywords at the end of that just to, just to get another couple of keywords in there. But that's basically how I do that page. So as I say, I would, I would stuff it. Well, I wouldn't stuff it, but I would 
add on to that, you know, I would do a bit more of a sentence than just the one I've done there, but I just wanted to do a very quick little brief explanation of that. So as I say, I would just extend that out a little bit and put a few more keywords in there. So now what you want to do, once you've done these and you've done the title, you want to just click Save Selection and Continue, um, and then it'll ho hopefully save there. And then you're on the... You should be on like the final page now, which is the reviewing page. So you just want to review your tags. Oh, also, actually, I'm going to go back because I didn't, I didn't really show you about trademarks too much there. So any of these words, right? Any of these words, copy and paste any phrases or any words. Like I mentioned in my previous video on your design, make sure that in your keywords you're pasting them into here and maybe going on to the other trademark sites as well and just searching them to make sure there's no live trademark. So do that with as many words as that are on here. So, you know, biology experts, you know, just or biology experts, whatever, you know, just type type them into TM Hunt, paste them in there, search it. And then again with your with your tags. Now the other thing I put in here, this zoo word, this is eluding me a little bit because I've put zoo in here, and that single word comes up as a live text trademark. But I I suspect you would be okay to use that word because generally you can't really trademark one single word, and I don't think many single words are trademarked like that. So. That one would need to be looked into. That single word would need to be looked into a bit more. But I think because it's not like a really un uncommon word, I think you might be okay with using that. Another way to kind of check, and it's not a foolproof way, but it is another way to check. If you go over to Merch Research, which is on the Merch Informer website, so we'll just let this load for a second, you can actually search all of the Amazon FBA, sorry, Amazon merch designs that are on Amazon. So uh, if I type in zoo there and I search t-shirts, if every, like if loads of other people have got zoo in their title, um, mm. then you can kind of you can kind of decipher that maybe it is okay to upload to merch. So we've got this is my zoo shirt over here in the right hand corner. We've got zoo birthday kids. We've got kids zoo in the title there. We've got zookeeper in the title there. So it looks like it probably would be okay to use that word because loads of other people have uploaded designs. It's not foolproof, but it's another way that you can kind of decipher whether that one single word would be okay to use. Uh, so it looks like it is okay because loads of people have got it in the titles. Someone's got Zookeeper there, so I, th I think that would be okay. Um, but it, words like that can make you, can elude you a little bit. You don't know whether to you know, upload them with those uh, words in or not. Um, but certainly, if you do a bit more research, you should be able to find out whether it would be okay to do so. So, obviously, as I say, all these different phrases, all these different words in the, in the keywords, you know, type them into, uh, copy and paste them into uh, TM Hunt. You know, again, Zookeeper, copy that in there. And, and any, like, phrases that you've got in there, um, you know, that are in the keywords, paste them in there as well because some phrases might be trademarked. So just really be strict with it. You know, paste as many words into that TM hunt as possible. It might take a little bit of time, but it's worth it because you don't want to get rejections. And then, as I say, we want to click save down here like we did a minute ago. We're now on the review page. And you just want to review your keywords. Yours will, your keywords will be a bit more bulkier than this, a bit chunkier. Because as I say, I've not done, I, I've just done a little bit of a keyword just as a demonstration. Um, but you want to review your keywords. Just think if it all flows right, if it looks good, uh, if there's any spelling mistakes, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then obviously just check your title, see if you're happy with that. And then you want to come down to here. It'll already pre be pre-selected on sell public on Amazon and it says down here for me you have reached the maximum limit of 100 live products but for you down in that corner it should say submit product hit the submit product and then it'll give you a little warning barrier saying please make sure that none of none like this design is original work or whatever and there is no trademark or copyright violations you just want to click OK as long as you're sure that your design is free of copyright trademark all that sort of stuff and then it'll go to uh, get processed, basically. So 
I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, also, as well, I just wanted to point out, there is a link down below for Merch Informer if you would like to... Um, Obviously, if you'd like to sign up for that, because it is a really good program. Um, I uh, I use it all the time now. I absolutely love it. Um, you can do merch without it. You know, it's not a, a given or anything, but I really like it. I use it. The designs that have sold on my account, I have used the tools from Merch Informer to kind of create those designs. So, yeah, it is worth it in my opinion. But, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you very soon.